Apple held its first ever virtual worldwide developers conference today, and one of the biggest updates was to iOS. With iOS 14, Apple reimagines the home screen by letting you organize apps in a few new ways. First, if you happen to have apps spread across multiple pages in various folders, iOS 14 can organize them for you with the app library, which organizes your apps automatically into thematic collections and dynamically updated folders. Folders might include your Apple Arcade downloads, social apps, and health and fitness apps. At the top of the app library, you'll also be able to search for apps. Another update in iOS 14 is widgets. You can now drag your widgets from the Today view and onto your home screen. The apps will dynamically move with you as you look for a spot to place the widget. There's also a new widget gallery that lets you browse and add new ones when you're moving icons around on the home screen. Also in iOS 14 is a brand new feature called App Clips. These are basically on-demand micro apps that can temporarily be installed when and where you need them, and that automatically go away when you don't. App Clips can include support for Apple Pay, but are small in size to be quickly downloaded in a time of need, like an app for paying for your parking meter, for instance. If you've ever wanted to use an app while also watching a video on your iPhone, iOS 14 will allow you to do just that. With the new Picture-in-Picture -picture feature, you'll be able to keep a video in a corner of the screen while working within another app. Apple is making some big changes to its voice assistant. Now when you trigger Siri, it appears as an icon at the bottom of the home screen rather than concealing your entire view. Siri integration in iMessage has also improved. You can ask it to send audio messages. Keyboard dictation has also been improved. Rounding out the Siri updates is the Translate app, which supports 11 languages and can be used entirely offline. The interface includes a language selector, text field, and record button, as well as a few extra widgets like favorites and a dictionary. You can have a conversation in two different languages, and it can translate from voice to text and back to voice again. iMessage is getting a big update in iOS 14, which will allow it to better compete with the likes of WhatsApp, Telegram, and others. First, you can pin conversations to the top of the app in order to access them quicker. You will also be able to tag people in conversations, as well as reply in line to a message in a thread by tapping on it. A great feature, especially in large group conversations. And each conversation is now more customizable. You can set a photo or a Memoji for a conversation, and Apple displays the icons of each contact involved. Memoji will receive new customization features as well, including hair, ages, and faces. Maps also gets an update in iOS 14. The more detailed maps that had been rolled out in the US will now be introduced into the UK, Ireland, and Canada. In New York City, LA, SF, Shanghai, and Beijing, Apple is rolling out cycling as a transportation mode. It takes elevation into account and will let you know if you're in for a challenging uphill workout or a leisurely flat ride. For both cycling and walking routes, you'll be able to tell maps to avoid steps and steep hills. And for drivers, Maps introduces electric vehicle routes and information about city centers. And if your car supports CarPlay, there will be more types of apps in the future, such as parking apps, EV charging apps, and food ordering apps. Maps also introduces guides, allowing you to browse data in-app from all trails, Zagat, and other sources of travel and tourism information to help you discover new places. Finally, iOS 14 turns your iPhone into a key for your car, allowing you to unlock and start your car and to provision either permanent or temporary digital keys to family and friends. Initially, only the upcoming BMW 5 Series will support this feature. The company says it will introduce it in iOS 13 as well. That's it for the iOS 14 updates announced at WWDC. Head to TechCrunch.com to read more.